Jeff Howard here at Kiteboarding.com and we've got a great opportunity to bring in some of the 2013 harnesses from, from DeKine. What they do is when they do a final production run they bring in so many and we always get a chance to buy these which is fantastic. This is the new Fusion. The Fusion has not been redesigned for a couple of years. Uh, the last couple have been about the same. They've changed some colorings but this year they did a total redesign. What they've done is they came in and did their pre-curve which is really nice in that back panel. Instead of it being flat, it gives you your shape to you. So it's really nice. If you're looking for that lower hookup point, racing, or just to support that lower back and have that lower hook point, the Fusion is by far the number one seat harness that's out there. We sell so many of these, it's crazy. People getting into the sport and everything keeps them from riding up. Um, I enjoy a seat type harness because I'm so slender it keeps the waist from sliding up so the Fusion. Now what they did on the new Fusion is increase the back panel here again the pre-curve the seat shaping is a lot more pronounced a lot looser down at the bottom so it gives you more shape and uh, keeps it from uh, riding up uh, up in your crotch you'd say or uh, something that would irritate you. They've made the straps real simple real clean real lightweight. I like that part of it as well. It's not as stiff and everything down at the bottom, so they made those changes. They also put in their one clip type system. So instead of having two clips, one on each side, they removed it. So your straps go into the bar. A lot of people used to change their bars. They really don't now. They've got the harnesses fitting right and the bars correct. Um, this, uh, the Fusion, a lot of people ask, does it have a hold down strap? The difference is, is it doesn't need it. And the difference and the reason is because your hookup points are a lot wider on this harness than it is on a waist harness. So adjusting it correctly keeps this bar from riding up completely. It's really, really nice. So once you can spread those loads because it's a wider type harness, it keeps those down. Now I'm a 32, uh, say 30 to 32 waist. I've kind of pre-adjusted a, uh, a few things. Um, I do have shorts on about the swim trunks. And um, what I like about these straps is they're a lot flatter. They changed those, so they're definitely going to spread the load a lot more on you. It does have the power belt, and that pre-curve in the back is really, really nice. I can feel this, uh, feel this back in here, especially once you tension up the bar. You pull it over, adjust your lower one first, then adjust your upper, and all of these have an elastic uh, neoprene back here to hide away the straps and keep it clean. Again, a little bit of adjustment in the leg straps, tension those up, but the shaping of this harness is what's going to keep it down. And as you can tell here, once you have it adjusted because of these widespread hookups, this bar does not even move upwards at all. It'll roll, but it definitely does not even slide up. That's a great thing about this harness. Really comfy, gives you a lot of good back protection back here, keeps that lower hook point. This is something you can ride in all day long. So that's what I really enjoy when I get out there and I'm riding for extended periods on my race board, twin tip. I have no problems. I love the seat harness. It keeps that lower hook point and allows me more power with my shoulders. So that's the new uh, Fusion from DeKine. Totally redone for 2013. A great harness. It's definitely going to uh, set standards in the industry again for a seat, as they always have. That's Jeff Howard here at KiteBrain.com. Educate you better so your riding improves.